Chaz Palminteri's A Bronx Tale has been an acclaimed one-man show, a hit movie, and now a full-fledged Broadway production. Fans know the story of the boy caught between the father he loves and the mob boss he'd love to be, but A Bronx Tale's Richard H. Blake recently took us behind the scenes to share five backstage secrets fans may not know about this thrilling doo-wop musical. You've never seen Belmont Avenue like this. Hi, I'm Richard H. Blake and I play Lorenzo in A Bronx Tale Musical. And today I'm gonna share with you five secrets from our show. Come on. So here we are in the wings backstage at the theater and uh, one of our secrets is all of the food that Jojo the Whale eats in the show is actually real. But we have had some food mishaps. Uh, Michael, you seem to be holding a slice of cheese pizza right yeah. now. That yeah. wasn't always just cheese pizza, was it? No, originally it had pepperoni on there from our choreographer's request, Sergio Trujillo. Um, but the pepperoni would occasionally fall off when I was dancing with the, uh, I danced with the slice during a number called Roll em. Cause he can't hold it back. He, when he starts to I'm move, full when out. he starts to move, he's full, triple full out. So the pepperoni was falling on the ground. Show him the move uh, that made the pepperoni fall. Well, it's a little, I'm sitting in a chair and it's a little like chug, chug, oh, chug, chug yeah. forward. You know, uh, so, and so that would rattle, chug. that would rattle yeah. the pepperoni free. Uh, yeah. And that's a slipping hazard. We, have so we, we can't have that. So we There's have also some vegans in the cast, and they were not happy with the non-vegan stage. That's, that's very true. We have a lot of so. vegans here. So here we are on stage at the Long Acre Theater, and one of the really cool things in our show is the cars in our show. We have two Chevy Corvairs, both of which have been torn apart and put back together. If you come around, you can see this one is a single-seater. This is how we make it fit on and off stage. This particular car faces sideways, so the audience sees this side, which has wheels on it, and this side, which has no wheels. So the next Bronx Tale secret I'm gonna show you guys is actually this cool little secret Easter egg sort of thing that we have going on in the show. Our set designer, Beowulf Borat, he puts an elephant in every set that he designs, somewhere in the set and ours happens to be in the Anello apartment. So my apartment houses this little guy. You can find one of these in every Beowulf for it set on Broadway. Our next secret is inside Sonny's bathroom. This is at the Shea Bippy. And in one scene, Sonny keeps sending wise guys into the bathroom. He says, get in the bathroom, because they keep getting in the way of his craps game. So I'm gonna show you a little secret about inside this bathroom. There you go. We got Jojo the Whale, Eddie Mush, and Frankie Coffee Cake in here. To keep these guys from overheating, they have these little fans right here. Uh, and uh, those are in the toilet. So they are, when they get in there, they get to pull that out of the toilet, keep themselves cool. Um, how you guys doing in there? Good. Good. All right, yeah, you know what? We'll go on to our next thing, I think, now. Whew. Boys. Hey. Another secret from a Bronx Teller musical is 667 Belmont Avenue is Chaz Palminteri's actual address when he was a kid. So when we come out this door into the neighborhood that is the Bronx, we are actually coming out of the real life address of Chaz Palminteri. Pretty cool little fact. Which brings us to the neighborhood. And all of these signs that you see in the neighborhood, Donia's Bakery, Gino's Pastry Shop, thank you Jerome Raguso, sends us all the good cannolis all the time, Mike's Deli, and the Borgatis. All of these establishments are still going in the Bronx, staples of the Bronx. You get up there, go up there, check it out, go to any one of these places, tell them that a Bronx tale sent you. Who knows? You might get a free cannoli. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for joining me for five secrets from a Bronx tale the musical. Hope to see you soon at the Long Acre Theater.